Good morning, folks. We'll be hitting James Webb's look at an asteroid belt comet, a long cycle solar forcing pattern in China, and papers on the millennial scale oscillations in climate driven by Dansgaard Oeschger events and Heinrich events. But we are starting, as always, with our star, and we find the last 24 hours contains several filament destabilizations. We didn't have any Earth directed eruptions, but right now the plasma filaments actually outnumber the sunspots about 3 to 1. So we'll need to be vigilant in watching the corona today for their activity. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet at Earth. A small magnetic perturbation is possible in the stream today, but it will not be major. So again, the focus will be on those plasma filaments and any eruptive activity that they produce. Let's hop out to Comet 238P, where James Webb has confirmed one thing and created more questions at the same time. First, they discovered clear spectral signatures of water on the comet, but it's what they didn't find that has astronomers so confused. There was no spectral signature of CO2. Carbon dioxide is a very expected peak in those lines, and they're not exactly sure why it's missing for this one. Open question. Good paper up next confirming that solar forcing in China not only exists, but follows up to 500 year cycles of activity tracked with other proxies. The main impacts are on the monsoon, total precipitation, and on surface temperatures. Couple good papers here. Hit the Dansgaard, Oeschger, and Heinrich events, which are the critical pivot points for Earth's climate over time. It is good to see them match up from a disaster cycle's perspective, including with the longer 12,000 year cycles, but bad to see it confirmed on the charts that we are due for the next one. They also show how the timelines don't always match up with the various methods of dating, and they often have to adjust thousands of years in recognition of that scientific deficiency. Either way, the pattern, the cycles, all there and easy to diagnose with a bit of analysis. Next pivot point coming within 20 years. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn all about those cycles and more with the links below the video. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.